In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the format of a complex number, how to graph one, and how to find its absolute value. So go ahead and pause the video. There are two notes to take here. So take the top note and then the bottom note. All right, a complex number is a combination of a real and an imaginary number. And any number multiplied by um, the letter I, we learned in the last lesson, is an imaginary number. A complex number, it's written as A plus BI, and that's its standard form, A plus BI, where A is the real part of the imaginary number and BI is the imaginary part of the complex number. If B is zero, this term goes away and we have a pure real number. So let's take a look at this. This is a complex number whose real part is negative five and whose imaginary part is three I. How would we graph it? We're gonna graph it in a very similar way that we would graph um, a, a coordinate. We have a coordinate plane, but in this case, the axis that's typically the x-axis is the real axis. The real number gets plotted along this axis. The axis that typically is the y-axis is now the imaginary axis. So let's go ahead and plot this complex number. It is negative 5 in the real number direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but a positive 3 up in the imaginary direction. So that number is plotted right here. And let's call that our first point, our first complex number. Our second complex number is 6i. You notice for this complex number, the a portion is 0. And therefore, this is just an imaginary number with no real part. So the real portion of this number is 0, and this number can be rewritten as 0 plus 6i. So we're going 0 in the real direction, but we're going 6 in the imaginary direction. Okay, and then our last number is the number 3. We notice that our b term, our second term, is missing. So we could rewrite our complex number in this form, 3 plus 0 i, we have a real part but no imaginary part. So we will go 3 in the real and no distance in the imaginary. So we plot our point here. This is point A, point B, and point C over here. So now let's talk about the absolute value of a complex number. Um, the absolute value is the distance our number is from the origin. And we can write a formula for the absolute value as a squared plus b squared equals the absolute value of a plus bi. And we can use this formula to figure out the distance our point is from the origin. So for case number one, for A, if we want to take the absolute value of negative 5 plus 3i, we could go ahead and use the formula. And you'll notice this is the, um, the distance formula for points. Or you can also equate it to the Pythagorean's theorem. OK, so here we go. So we would take the square of A. A is negative 5, and we would square it. And we would take the, the number b in front of our i, and we would square it, and then we would find the square root. So the absolute value for our first point is going to be the square root of 25 plus 9, which is the square root of 34. So the absolute value of point A is 34. It has a distance of 34, or radical, square root of 34 units from the origin. How would we do the same thing for 6i? We would take the absolute value of 6i. We have no real portion to this. So when we square 0, we'll just get 0 back. If we square 6, we get 36. The square root of 36 is 6, which is pretty much what we started out with. And you can see right here, the distance from the origin is 6 units. And how about our last one? 
If we take the absolute value of 3, we all know what the absolute value is of 3 is, but let's do it in our complex number system. The real portion is 3, we'll square it. The imaginary portion is 0, we'll square that. We get the square root of 9, which is 3, and you'll notice the distance from the origin is 3 units in this direction.